Before satellites and weather apps, farmers around the world looked to the sky, animals, and even the smell of the air to predict the weather and some of their omens were eerily accurate. In ancient times, farmers believed the color of the sunrise could reveal the future. A red sunrise meant storms were coming, red sky in morning, shepherds warning, but a red sunset meant calm weather ahead, red sky at night, sailors delight. This wasn't just superstition, it was caused by dust and moisture scattering sunlight, a real atmospheric clue. In Europe, farmers said if cows lay down in a field, rain was near, because cows can sense pressure drops before a storm. Chickens that stayed close to their coop, or frogs croaking louder than usual, also meant wet weather was coming. Old English farmers even watched spiders. If they spun larger webs, a dry spell was coming, but if they hid in corners, storms were on the way. In Japan, fishermen believed if the sea glowed green or the horizon turned hazy, typhoons were approaching. In India, traditional farmers said if ants carried their eggs uphill, it meant heavy rain would fall soon, and modern science later confirmed that ants respond to humidity shifts long before humans notice them. Some omens were darker. In Irish folklore, if a halo appeared around the moon, it meant tragedy or floods. In China, the sudden silence of cicadas at dusk was a warning of lightning storms. And the strangest of all, in African folklore, when snakes were seen dancing upright in the fields, it meant droughts would end. Scientists today believe this might have come from snakes surfacing after feeling vibrations from approaching rain. Long before meteorology existed, farmers' lives depended on reading nature's smallest signs, and through centuries of observation, these superstitions became patterns of truth.